Well, cleanup continues after storms brought hail through our area last night, including Bryan, Effingham and Chatham counties. Our Flynn Sider joins us now live from Richmond Hill with a look at the damage there and what's being done to help those who have been impacted by it. Yeah, Mike, Don, good evening. It's been an all hands on deck effort from both crews and neighbors today to clean up. And for good reason, too, you can see it's raining. We're getting that second round of storms this evening. This homeowner who had a house or who had a tree fall in his house says he was able to make just enough repairs today to patch things up so that it won't be wet inside his home tonight. His house, one of several in the Richmond Hill area that had trees either fall near or on the homes. Crews are making progress in getting things back to normal tonight, but many longtime residents that we spoke to say with the amount of hail they got yesterday, they've never seen a storm quite like this before. Tonight, the cleanup continues after severe storms brought large hail and damaging winds to Richmond Hill last night. Oh, the hail beating the back of the windows, uh, sound of the tree hitting the roof. Uh, it's pretty scary. Throughout the day, crews worked to cut loose tree limbs and clear roadways covered with debris. A close call for one Richmond Hill resident as a tree barely missed falling on his home with his two children inside. His house only suffering minor damage. I actually was at the window watching the tree fall down. I have a punctured roof. Um, I got some siding that's um, missing. I had an eight year old. He was pretty scared, but I mean, other than that, we got through it. Even hours after the storm, hail still remained on the ground in some areas. In the storm's aftermath, many yards blanketed in white. The National Weather Service says the large-sized hail is not common. But it is uh, pretty unusual to have a uh, storm that's producing, you know, quite large hailstones, you know, up to the size of tennis balls in the case of Richmond Hill, and have the ground, you know, turn white with those hailstones as well. Emergency crews say the hardest hit neighborhoods in Richmond Hill were near Timber Trail and Harris Trail roads. Now neighbors are still grappling with what they're calling the storm's unusual nature as the cleanup continues. Yeah, I've been to a couple of hail storms before, but nothing like this, uh, not this much hail. And luckily, no injuries were reported. With all the damage that we saw today, people are going to have to file insurance claims. We talked with the uh, Insurance and Fire Safety Commissioner's Office today who gave us these tips if you do need to file an insurance claim. They say get those uh, claims filed as quickly as possible. They say the faster you file, the faster you're more likely to hear back. They also said to make sure your policy covers the damage you're filing for. They say talk with your insurance agent. They'll be able to answer those questions for you. They also say to be cautious of people going going door to door. The office says that uh, during or after storms like these, fraud is uh, a, a chance. So they say to be cautious of people going door to door from out of state and check licenses of insurance agents. And they also say to get multiple repair estimates. They say the best places to go for those repair estimates are local contractors, local repair shops. They say those areas and those uh, businesses are going to give you the best prices. We're live in Richmond Hill, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.